Split Decision MMA UK still down here in Colchester for BC MMA 7. I'm here with Mr. Jay White, who's got the uh, second round TKO victory and your first um, finish of your career so far, if I remember rightly. How, um, how are you feeling after that one? I'm very, very happy. I, I said to you know my friends and family tonight, um, you know, I, I showed that in the other fights I could go the distance, and I was very happy that you know my cardio would get me through the three, the three, three-minute rounds. But I really wanted to finish tonight. You know, I wanted to prove it to myself that I could finish, and yeah, I delivered. So I'm really happy about that. Yeah, it, it was some big punches that finishing because you were, if I remember right, you were over the top of him, and you went in and you hit him with a few, and he just didn't seem to like. I don't know if it was the the second, the third one he didn't like, and he turned over. Is, is that when you knew it was over? Like I'm not like you might have broken him, should I say? I think I actually broke his orbital bone. His, his eye is very, it's extruded. It's very, very far out. It's very swollen. So, yeah, I hit him as I hit him as hard as I could. Um, but I just saw that you know the opportunity was there, so I just went for it really. Um, I think it was a big kick that dropped him, and then from there I just tried to you know pressure him and stay on top and just just do as much damage as I could. So. And I remember before the fight you said um, that he'd um, won his first two by iron boy, so you'd have to watch out on the um, ground. Um, you seem to do all right. Was that, have you been planning to like stop him? I don't know how many attempts he went for any submissions, but you seem comfortable enough. Yeah, I don't think he really had a chance to you know work any submissions. Um, he was quite strong in the clinch. I heard he was a fireman, so I, th I thought he'd have you know pretty good upper body strength. Um, but yeah, no, 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 no sort of nothing to worry about really. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward fight really so yeah but no no submission attempts um, I, I, my plan I was joking I was like I'm going to fight like a T-Rex but no it was fine I just fought my own fight really I, I just didn't really wor worry about what he was doing so I just stuck to my game plan really not that I had a, I didn't really have a game plan I just sort of did it went in there and fight you know just went in there I don't really plan you can't plan a fight no, that's true. So you, you know, if you, it's like anything in life, I suppose. If you plan it to the detail, you know, one little thing goes wrong, and you've got to be like, boom. It's like if a, my coach didn't turn up on time last night, it's like, come on. But that's that's completely different to the fight game. Nobody wants to hear my stories. But um, was there anything about him that surprised you? Um, not, no, not particularly. Uh, he, I mean, he hit me with a, a right. I, I, I know, I'm not sure, but my nose, you know, he hit me in the face. So his his power was good in his shots. Uh, I think my head movement could be a bit, a bit better, but no, nothing surprised me really, no. And now that you're um, three and all, have you got any um, f other fights coming up, any planned, or are you just going to wait to see what happens? Yeah, I'm just going to wait and see, you know, just take one fight at a time. Um, I always train hard, uh, even you know, even if I haven't got a fight, I always train hard. I, I'd, I'd rather, you know, I like to learn. They they got my name wrong tonight. It was meant to be in the first fight, uh, in the last fight, sorry, it was uh, sexual chocolate, which was, you know, is, is a laugh. But I, I really want to change my nickname to The Apprentice, mainly because obviously you're always learning in MMA. So, you know, I, I can continue to learn and just, you know, get better and better, add more weapons to my arsenal. I think tonight I showed my striking, you know, a bit more. I landed a few good kicks and, you know, heavy ground and pound, so. Especially if people watch your other fights, seeing you go the distance, so you, like you said, you learn to focus on the cardio and make sure you can last it as well as your skills. And now that you knock the um, TKO that guy, people might, they'll be like, well, this guy's got the full package, so it might might make them overthink you. That's it. Like I'm saying, you know, I, I just wanted to prove to myself mainly that I could finish and just work on that killer instinct. You know, I've never competed before. Um, I, I've gone straight into MMA. Um, you know, a lot of people they, they'll fight. You know, I did karate when I was younger, so a lot of people might have done a few karate competitions, had some experience, but I've just gone straight in. You know, kind of thrown myself into the deep end. So I'm kind of working on secretly myself each fight. I've, I want to prove, you know, get a bit better and prove that I can do things. And MMA is all about variety. So. I just want to bring something new to each fight and it'd be unpredictable, really. So, like you say, there's nothing boring about it. I mean, that's why we all love it. And my, my last question, really, is um, I've been doing it for the past couple of months. This asking this, yours is the most stylish beard I've seen, and a lot of people who are winning recently have awesome beards. Oh, okay. you, I think it's the year of the beard. I don't know why. There's like so many people, and I interview them afterwards, and this massive beard, short beard, and I'm like. I, I, I'm trying to find a pattern. Do you think some of your power comes from the beard? I think, yeah, it's just, you just want to prove to you. You're like, oh, yeah, I want to be a man, you know? It's, the beard's like a, a bit of a, uh, it says, you know, like a, a manly statement, really. Um, when, when I was younger, I really wanted a sleeve, you know, like a tattoo sleeve, and I really wanted a beard, and now I've got both. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So I, I, I think I asked that question because I want to be manly. I can never grow a beard. I look more trampy. But that one's just really stylish. It's like, yes. Is, well, that's good. And um, is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to or thank 
Just, yeah, just, uh, you know, everyone that's helped train me at South End Combat Academy, uh, you know, Simon, Lee, all my training partners, a few guys that couldn't, you know, meant to fight on the card, but they got injured. I think Luke was meant to fight, he broke his hand, and Clayton, who, uh, I'm not sure why, he just couldn't fight in the end. Um, just my family as well, you know, my girlfriend and just everyone, because I'm a bit moody sometimes. My first weight cut, so it was a bit, you know, a bit hard at times, but it's fine, yeah, it's, it's all good. Just make sure if you're losing weight, you never have to shave the beard. That's a that's, that's it. a that'd, that'd be close, just, you know. It's, it's the times I was thinking, oh, you know, it's getting a bit desperate. So, hey, but also it's good for the ladies as well. You got the nickname, the Apprentice, for good beard, skills in the cage. What's not to love? It's awesome. And then, um, it makes me seem like people looking at him going, no beard, no. He's in a suit. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> but um, thanks for the interview before the fight. Um, thanks for this now as well. And um, I hope you enjoy the victory. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks Take so him, cheers. Cheers, man. Thank you.